Shumai, hello. I'm at the gates of the Royal Glamorgan Hospital, where eight people have died following 82 confirmed cases of COVID-19. The news has resulted in the temporary restriction on services in the hospital, including suspended planned surgery, with the exception of a small number of urgent cancer cases. Other changes include the diversion of ambulances and patients requiring emergency admission to other hospitals in the area, such as the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff. But the hospital will be remaining open for walk-ins and for those who can be treated in the ambulatory care department. Welsh Education Minister Kirsty Williams said that the Welsh Government understands that this is a serious situation and how upsetting it is for all those involved. She added that the government was working with the local health authorities' senior management team and Public Health Wales to understand and crucially address the issues, to bring the outbreak under control and to learn the lessons so that they can be applied in other healthcare settings as well. The news comes as the latest figures have revealed the weekly COVID-19 cases for every local authority. The highest at the time of broadcast is Blaine Gwent, with 192 new cases of the virus being reported in the seven days leading up to the 27th of September, with a rate of 274.8 per 100,000 people. Merthyr Tydfil is second with 129 new cases and a rate of 213.8. Third is Ronda Canontarf with a rate of 184, which saw 444 new cases in the seven days leading up to September 27th. We will keep you updated on this developing story and from everyone at Local TV we hope that you are staying well and safe. Take care.